Hey Sunshines and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got my August trend scent. Last month was probably the best trend scent I've ever had in my entire life. It was so good. And what was funny about that box is about a week and a half before I got it, I actually went on vacation and went into the Trendsend store. And I didn't really see anything that I was excited about. I loved the navy and olive colors. I saw that they were getting for fall, but I just kind of left, I didn't buy anything. And then that box came in, boom, it was so good. So it really opened my eyes to how important a stylist is in this process. My stylist actually reached out to me in the comments. I can't remember your name, but I wanted to say thank you. Being a stylist has got to be one of the harder jobs because I feel like you're part stylist, part mind reader. I don't know, it's super, super hard. So thank you for all you do to all the stylists, whether it's mine that styled this box or anyone else. So Trendset is a monthly clothing subscription box. It has no styling fee, which is one of the reasons that I really enjoy this box. Sometimes you just get a box with companies that just doesn't work out. This doesn't happen that often with Trendsend. I usually find one or two things. But the times that I haven't, I feel like I haven't lost anything because I haven't lost the styling fee because there's not one. You get three outfits. So an outfit could be like a bottom, two tops, a jacket, a necklace, or it could just be like a dress and a sweater. I don't know. So I love that they give you variety and try and kind of piece your wardrobe together, which is really fun. You can also set up a wish list on the Ever Eve store website and link it to your account to help your stylist kind of know what you're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this box. Before we do though, my name is Christy and welcome. I am so incredibly happy to have you. If you're new, comment below where you're from so I can welcome you personally in the comments. Also, don't forget to give this thumbs up. And to all of you guys, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button. I am so happy to have each and every one of you here. All right, so I'm ready. I'm ready to see what's inside. Y'all, if you're watching this today, this is a Saturday on the day I upload this, it's National Fajita Day. So my family's actually going to Chili's later because they have three for 10. Uh, I think you get an appetizer, chicken, fajitas, and a non-alcoholic beverage for 10 bucks, which means I don't have to cook. <laughs> Gotta love that, right? Okay, so I have the message from my stylist with the three outfits, and then I have the pricing sheet here. So I'm gonna set those aside. I will read the comments to my stylist, and as I'm trying things on, if it's something that I think you, you should know, I'll let you know, okay? All right, so here's the first bundle. I like that color. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, this is, what is this? Okay, so this is like a little cami. I really love the neckline of this. Cute. I like the color too. On camera it looks evergreen, but it definitely has a little more turquoise to it. And this is by Allison Joy. Let's see, and this is the Botanical Green Cutout Tank for $54, right? And then the next thing in here is a little tie front top. I think it's gonna be too short. Maybe, we'll see. It's pretty though. I like the floral pattern. I like the tie front, we'll see. Maybe with the tank under it, it'll be okay. And then it's got like a three quarter length sleeve. Well, it, no, I think it just goes maybe to the elbow. We'll have to see. And this is made by Love Stitch. This is the floral, floral kimono sleeve top and it's 54.50 and it's in the color Dusty Teal. And then last but not least, okay, this is funny. These are high rise skinnies. Now, I haven't jumped on the high rise jean bandwagon yet. Um, it's taken me back to high school. So we'll see how I feel about these. I'm so used to wearing like lower rises that this is gonna be interesting. I really like these though, they're pretty. So I'm definitely gonna give them a try. These are cut from the cloth and they are the Mia high rise skinny for $71.20. Okay, so far so good. I definitely see some pieces that I like in there. Sorry, all right, my hair is doing something funky. I like did it today and it keeps like wanting to do this. <laughs> I've sprayed it, I've gelled it. We're just gonna go with it, right? All right, here's the next bundle. Looks like there's a piece of jewelry. I did buy a piece of jewelry last month. I actually really like Trendsend jewelry. It's some of, um, I've gotten a few like statement necklaces in there and I wear them quite often. And I've actually 
um, shopped their sales when they have them for their jewelry. They have great sales. All right, this is really pretty. So it's this gold kind of seed beads, very shiny with this gray marbled stone at the bottom. And then it looks like it's got a drawstring. So you can make it really short or really long, which I love the versatility of that. That is super shiny though, <laughs> that chain. Okay, so this is by um, 32, uh, 3942, which is their brand and it's $30. It's the Ashbury Half Circle Pendant Necklace in matte gold. All right, let's see what they want me to pair that with. Okay. So this is by Sanctuary. And it's just a little tank. Kind of black and gray. Does it have blue through it? Yeah, it does. Sort of, I can't tell if that's gray or blue. On camera, it definitely looks blue. But it sort of has, in real life, it kind of looks gray. I can't tell. Anyway, okay, so it's a little bit high-low, and then on the back, it's just um, got a slit in the back a little bit. All right, so this top is $63.20. It's the Shell Craft Shell by Wildflower, or not by Wildflower, that's the print, I guess, Wildflower. It's made by Sanctuary, okay? And then we got a long black cardigan. This is an Alice and Joy cardigan, and it is a duster. It's got buttons all the way down the front, and it is long. Like, I wonder if this will go to my knees. It's so incredibly soft. And it's sort of, the material is ribbed. Okay. So this is the, hmm, Cara Cardigan in black for $54. The price isn't that bad. I kind of was into the longer sweaters last year, but I'm not sure how I'm feeling about them this year. I kind of feel like I like them a little bit shorter, but I might try that one on and, and change my mind. All right, and then last but not least, we have another bundle. And this is, what is this? Oh, this is a long kimono by Alice and Joy. How cute. This is fun going into fall. Hold on, I'm not holding it right. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so it's got a long black pattern. I can't get it, all right, there we go. Like a long black pattern going down the front. And I love, I love the contrast of the two florals. Cute, this would be cute with black jeans. Fun, and I like the length of this. This is a little bit longer. One of you guys commented that whenever you wear a kimono now, you call it the, your Mrs. Roper top. <laughs> Which makes me laugh. I love it. So this is the Maya Kimono in Black Multi for $62.60. And then, what else is in here? This looks like it may be a dress. Yes, this is a dress by Alice and Joy. And this is the Coco Mesh Insert Dress in Black for $62.40. Okay, I see where they're talking about mesh. It's got, okay. So it definitely is gonna go down to my knees. It's got ruching down the side, um, but it's definitely a straight dress. I'm gonna tell you around my hips, I'm not so sure about that. It's definitely a little bit, looks like it's gonna be more body conscious. And then there's like this mesh V right here. I, I like this dress, but I don't know that I'm gonna like it on my body. I can kind of already tell. So we will see how I feel about that. It does look like it's sort of a midi length, like maybe down below um, my knee, down on my shin. All right, so we will see. I definitely think there's some pieces in here that are gonna be fun to try, so stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I read my stylist notes on this and she basically wanted me to have this little tank top because she loved the color for me, but she also loved the neckline i really am drawn to an interesting neckline so that is why she sent it which i do think is pretty i don't typically wear just a shirt like this i like a short sleeve or even a sleeveless but like a spaghetti strap top is not really my style so i definitely pair this with a sweater so i added the little black duster sweater that she sent me this is really soft it's long sleeved i just have the sleeves sort of pulled up it's a little warm now it's still 
you know, 90 degrees outside. <laughs> but I love that she sent fall stuff because that's what I'm looking for. And then I put the Mia skinnies on, which are really, really long. I would definitely have to roll these up and put them with booties if I wore them. I don't think I could use flats with them. So here's the overall look of the outfit. The little black sweater is cute. It's got pockets, which I love. And I like it paired with this green, but I don't think I like it paired with this particular tank top. And then I don't know if you can see all the material, like there's so much material. Like look, when I point my toe, it goes all the way up almost to my toes. That's how much it's bump, bunched up at the bottom. So I think the tank top is gonna be a no. I typically don't do a lot of black. I know I wear black on camera, but I don't wear a lot of black in my real life because we own three cats. You see, there's one right here, a little white kitty. Um, I, I have lots of uh, lit brushes and things, but I just, it's hard to keep these looking nice because I feel like it's a constant fight with the pet hair. So I think this outfit may be a no. I don't really like the length of the jeans. I'm not sure about this. And if this cardigan came in a different color, maybe I might go online and look, but I just don't think I'm gonna keep the black one. So hold on, stay tuned for my next outfit. So I just put on this little kimono sleeve top with the knot at the bottom. It's not too short, which I thought it was going to be. However, it is very low cut. I mean, my girls were out for the world to see. So I went ahead and added a little black sort of fitted tank top for my closet under it. I think it's cute, but I feel like it doesn't give me any shape at all. It just kind of hangs there, if that makes sense. And I feel like with like a regular kimono, you could wear like a tight cami under it and then put that on and you can still see that you have some shape, but this just doesn't give me much of anything. So I think this is gonna be a no also. All right, let me go on to the next one. Be right back. All right, so I put this black cardigan on. I read my stylist notes for my second outfit and she sent this little tank top to go under the cardigan. I gotta admit, at first I didn't really like this tank top. I felt like it was like, I don't know, a dated print or, I don't know. It's just not a print that I would normally have gravitated to, but putting it on with the cardigan, I actually really like it. And then I have the necklace on. I actually did it to a shorter length and the gold on here is so distracting with the sort of gray and black. It's not, I don't think it's shining as strongly in the camera as it's shining in real life, but you have to trust me, it's not, it's not the best. So this is this outfit. I do like it, I do like it a lot. I see why she paired these together. I really do like this cardigan, I'm reconsidering it, even though it's black. Um, I don't know, tell me what you guys think of this, this little guy together. And then I still have that dress outfit, so stay tuned. All right, so here's this little black bodycon dress, which I don't like. I knew that I wasn't going to. I don't really like the mesh on the top. I don't really like how form-fitting it is around my hips. I don't think it does great things for my bum. I could definitely wear shaper with it, um, but I try to stay away from shaper as much as possible because <laughs> it's not fun to wear. And then I tried it on with this kimono, but it just feels like I'm wearing a robe. It definitely goes as long as the dress. But again, I don't think this gives me any shape at all. Um, yeah, I just don't. And I don't think I would like this kimono, honestly, with jeans and a tank either. Just kind of not my style. So I think this is also going to be a no. All right, so stay tuned for my recap. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so don't cry for me, Argentina, but I am not keeping anything in my box. I feel like sometimes if I don't keep anything in a box, you guys get so upset. You're like, I'm so sorry you didn't find anything. It's truly, truly okay. I semi-loved the cardigan. I sort of went back and forth with it. I looked online. It comes in three other colors, gray, oatmeal, and navy. But as I looked at the models wearing it, I didn't really like it on them either. And so I felt like that was my answer. If we've got these beautiful, stunning models and you don't really love it on them, I knew I wasn't really going to love it on 
<laughs> me. So that is a no. I felt like a lot of the clothes felt shapeless, like the kimono top just didn't give me a shape. The, the dress did, but it was just too clingy in the wrong areas. And I felt like once I put the long kimono over it, it felt like a robe. It didn't feel chic and polished to me. That is just my opinion. Um, so I'm not going to keep anything and that is okay. So I don't need any opinions on the clothes today. No opinions. So we're going to talk about something else. I'm going to flip the switch on you. I just got um, my note from Sephora in and I guess at the end of this month they are having their Beauty Insider Appreciation event. So I have 20% off because I'm a Sephora Rouge member. So comment below your favorite things to buy at Sephora. Maybe the pricier ones because I only buy that kind of stuff when I have a sale like the Drunk Elephant Serum that's like $90 probably will go in my cart. A big jar of Bum Bum Cream will probably go in my car. I love that stuff. So let me know what your favorite things are at Sephora so I can start making my list for when that comes out. And if you want to see a haul when I do um, that shopping trip, let me know. All right. So I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will post my Trenson link below. Y'all, Trenson is a great box. You got to try it. I think you will love it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.